Hello, it's Friday, it's nine o'clock. I'm Chloe Tilly. Welcome to the programme. The last of the so-called Beatles, the British men fighting with ISIS forces in Syria, have been captured. They're said to have tortured and murdered more than 20 hostages. We'll be hearing from a French journalist who was held hostage for 10 months. Protecting our children's health, nearly half of head teachers surveyed say they're struggling to get proper support for their pupils. We'll hear from a head as well as a mum who says support has been vital for her daughter. And Marvel's latest film, Black Panther, is one of the most anticipated comic adaptations of all time. We're going to find out why this film is so important and hear about the reception it got at last night's UK premiere. Hello and welcome to the programme. We're live until 11 o'clock this morning. We're going to be talking about children's mental health during the programme. Does your child suffer? Are they getting the help that you feel they need? Or maybe you didn't get the help that you needed when you were at school and what effect has that now had? Or maybe you're a school counsellor and don't feel that you're getting enough resources to do your job properly. Whatever your story, do get in touch with us throughout the morning, whether it's about this story or anything else. You can use the hashtag Victoria Live. And do remember that if you text, you will be charged at the standard network rate. Our top story today, two British extremists believed to be members of one of the so-called Islamic State group's most notorious cells have been captured by Syrian Kurdish fighters in Syria, according to US officials. They're accused of being part of a unit which executed 27 Western hostages and tortured many more. Andy Moore reports. Well, our Middle East correspondent Martin Patience is in Beirut for us now. So, Martin, what do we know about these two men? Thank you very much, Ben. We're going to be talking about that Black Panther UK premiere which took place last night with um, a young black actor, also a film producer, in about half an hour's time. But do get in touch with us throughout the morning about all of the stories that we're discussing. You can use the hashtag Victoria Live, but do remember that if you text, you'll be charged at the standard network rate. Now, let's get some sport now with Hugh. Good morning, Hugh. Of course, first official day of the Winter Olympics, but not a great start for, for Team D GB. Disappointing news already. <laughs> 